In mid-March of 2024, the fuel pipeline that supplies all of the fuels into Manitoba was shut down to have some work done on it. And Candu was asked if we could help with the supply of fuel to Manitobans. Which basically meant all the uh, fuel that flows into uh, Manitoba or services the Winnipeg area and Northern Ontario area would no longer be handled. And uh, we jumped to the pump and added all these extra resources and uh, servicing to Shell Imperial Oil and all the other customers that were servicing in the transport. Within days of us finding out of the disruption to the pipeline, we had rail cars on the move to Winnipeg. And at the same time, CanDo was actually materializing their equipment from across Canada to be able to meet what our requirements were. Well, we started off uh, bringing in uh, 20 additional staff. They came right from Kamloops, British Columbia, right through to Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, and all points in between. We also uh, hired nine additional people to work in Transload. Just to kind of give you an idea on general volumes, we moved about 90 million liters of product down that pipe to service that Manitoba market on a monthly basis. A lot of different people had to come together to work towards a common goal and it was very inspiring to see. I really enjoy the, the work culture, just everyone's working together towards the same goals and uh, it's uh, one big team all working together throughout our different departments with the carriers and suppliers as well. The people that I work with are absolutely fantastic. We have each other's backs. If we need something, there's somebody right along to back you up. I think my proudest moment was driving through Transload at the beginning of the process and seeing uh, one experienced, uh, one inexperienced and one university student at each pump and just seeing the camaraderie and the uh, learning that was going on and friendships that were being built and uh, at the same time getting the job done. I can probably say that CanDo uh, did actually stop a fuel shortage uh, with our work at the Imperial Oil Facility, with our work that we do at Shell, with the work we do at our North Transcona area, with really no disruptions in service. What I would like to say is, you know, a big thank you. I mean, you know, CanDo did materialize a lot of operation and met all of our expectations. So again, big thank you.